everyone. Welcome to Shay's Tube. Hello, guys, and welcome to Shay's Tube. Let me reposition uh, my camera real quick. I got this thing up here and I'm trying to show you guys. Okay, I'm about to do it like that. Hopefully that'll work out okay. I'm not an expert at this, so you have to bear with me with the backdrop. It's cricket too. <laughs> Next time I'll do a little bit better, okay? But anyway, I hope you guys' week was great. I hope your weekend is going good. Happy Sunday. And I'm here to do another exciting brand new haul. This haul right here will be a little bit longer today because I went to a bunch of stores and got a bunch of things, okay? I got stuff from the 99 cent store, from Dollar Tree, of course, from Target, or Target as some call it, Forever 21. I just got maybe two things to show you from there. And I got, um, what else? Um, I said 99 cents to Dollar Tree. Oh, and JCPenney's. I got something from JCPenney's I wanted to show you guys too, okay? And I think that's all of the stores, if I'm not mistaken. So um, let me get ready to get this haul started. But before I do it, let me just say thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, thank you to my old ones. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the likes. And thanks for doing my um, videos, okay? So let me go ahead and start off with this haul. And you know what? Grab me something to eat or something to drink. Because guess what I'm eating? I'm so greedy, guys. Ice cream. Okay, so that's what I'm eating. Okay, but I'm not gonna be eating too much on camera, you know. Okay, let me start off with Target. Okay, at Target, I um, got this little apple, a big apple, and their little pencil. And these two items right here were inside the dollar bin. And um, you know what? Before I saw. Before I saw the apple itself, I thought maybe I would just put this on my table. And then when I saw this pencil, I was like, I can, you know, obviously use it on my desk. And then I got home and realized that this is probably for a teacher's desk. I used to teach in a regular school setting, but now I just teach my kids homeschooling. So what I'm going to do is put this on my desk. And, you know, this is just pretty cute. Okay, this, this was $3, and this was too, okay? And the dollar being in the um, in Target, okay? At Target, or Target. Okay, that's that. And then I got, let's see. Oh, let me show you what else I got from Target. Man. Oh. I got these cute little um, flip-flops from Target. And these were, I think, the normal price of these are like $40, I think, or $30. No, not $40. Let's see, what is it? Oh, you know what? If I would have um, kept the tag on it, I would know. I think they were either $20.90 to $39. I can't remember. But anyway, they took 25% off of these. And I just, I like them. I mean, they're very cute. And of course, I had to put them on in the store so I can, you know, see what it feels like. And, you know, they're very comfortable. Okay, so I got these, as you can see it. Okay. Then at Target, I got this plant. And Lord knows I don't need any more plants, but I just thought this was really adorable, okay? Look at it. So, I mean, it looks kind of real. I mean, you know, as real as I'm going to get right now. But anyway, yeah, this was on clearance for $9.98. It was normally $20, okay? Very cute. And they only had this one left. So I picked this up from Tar J. I don't know where I'm putting that yet. I'm putting it um, at yet, but, you know, I got it because it was on sale. And I, you know, I like plants. Okay, let's see what else I got from Target that I want to show you guys. Let me set this right here. I'm not on this camera, but if I am, guys, excuse that because my hair is like braided up. Okay. Next, I got some um, workbooks, same or different. I got the math concepts. And I got the addition. Okay. Excuse me one second, guys. Okay. Okay. I'm back. Okay. So let me show you those workbooks again. Okay. I got the addition one. Okay. Same or different one for school for my um, son for homeschooling this, this school season coming up. 
and math concepts. Now these aren't necessarily um, his exact grade level, but what I like to do is go over other stuff because I want to make sure he's ready to go to private school in a year or two. So I, I, I just basically still get him like second grade work or third grade work and even sometimes first grade because I want to make sure along with his third grade work that he's, he's going to be doing, I want to make sure he, um, you know, really knows the stuff as well as learning the new stuff he's going to be um, learning this upcoming school year. Okay, so these were all a three a dollar a piece. Okay, one dollar a piece from Charge J. As you can see, the bag. And then I got these little alphabet practice cards. Okay, because again, he's not good in handwriting yet, like he should be. So I got this so he can actually practice tracing these letters and then we can reuse this over and over again until he gets really really good and see on the side of them on the back side you can see they have the letters and then they got what animals begin with that letter like z is for zebra obviously you know so yeah i think that's pretty good it, is, it has a little paper they normally write on so they can see the lines and know how to write the uppercase letters and the lowercase he knows how to but i'm making sure that he really knows how to okay because like i told him this school year, I am not playing. You have to go ahead and do all of your work like you're supposed to, and you have to follow directions because you're not a baby anymore. So, yeah, so that's what we're doing. He's in summer school right now, so, you know, handwriting, still doing handwriting in summer school and reading. Okay, so, yeah, they have a lot of school stuff out there, guys, you know, for kids and stuff, so I thought that was pretty good. I was like, let me go ahead and get this because if you don't get it now, it's going to be gone and everything. I mean, they, they have a lot of workbooks, so when I go back next week, I'm gonna pick up some more and have all the workbooks we need. But I'm gonna get the other ones on the third on the third grade level. Okay. Now Target, I oh one more thing I want to show you guys that I got from Target. Okay. Yeah, it's heavy. So I'm gonna break my little nails because I cut them down, so I don't want these nails to my nails to break and then I have to start all over again. But I got this mat. Man, yeah, stuff wasting everywhere. But anyway, I got this little floor mat and this, you know, for your front door, outside or inside. This right here was on clearance for six dollars and 98 cents so i had to jump on this okay because usually these masks right here cost like 19.99 or um 25 dollars or something like that so i had to definitely jump on that one too and then i think that's it that i got from target that i want to show you guys so i think i'm now going to move on to i'm just making sure that's it i'm going to move on to let me show you what I got for Forever 21, okay? Man, besides getting, I got these little, I think I showed you guys this one already. I had got, I got this gel look stuff the other week. No, 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 no. This is a different kind. I got this the other day, okay? I'm so crazy, y'all. I got this on Friday when I went to Forever 21, okay? And this color right here is, I don't know what color this is. Let me see. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's mint. You can barely see the writing, okay? And excuse my nails, too, because I'm getting ready to do my nails over again. But anyway, um, this is the mint gel look, which is really cute, okay? As you can tell, it's a real nice color. And this was $3.80. And then I got this red one, this gel look. I, I'm actually impressed with this gel look, you know, fingernail polish. So, you know, I'm probably going to be buying this all the time because I mean my nails are messed up right now but that's that gel look you know so I like the way it looks it, it, it actually looks like the gel fingernail polish you know so yeah I got two of these and then of course I got my kids a couple of things but they don't like to really they don't like for me to show their stuff online they show their own stuff so I don't really show it but I did buy them um both a pair of pants and some um some little shirts that they like to wear. And then I got me another pair of shorts. Like the other shorts that I showed you guys, those little biker shorts, another pair of gray ones, okay? I got another pair of those, and I got another... And I think that was it. That's all I got there and everything. I wanted to get this brown, this nice little brown, well, not brown, but beige shirt, but the line was so long, I did not want to go back in line and get it. So maybe Friday, if it's still there, I'll pick it up because it'll go good with my pants. So when I go out of town, I have it. But anyway... That's all I got at Forever 21. And then, let's see. Oh, let me show you what I got from JCPenney's. I've been getting so much. So let me show you the bag. I threw my Forever 21 bag away, guys, okay? But you saw um, 
that fingernail polish is only sold at Forever 21. You can see, I think on the back side. Oh, you can see it on the uh, polish, Forever 21. My DJ always leaves and never comes back and put the next song on. She never does that. That's why I had to stop the tape before. I'm not going to stop it this time because she keeps on forgetting. But anyway, I went to um, JCPenney's. I got my son this shirt. It says, currently unsupervised. And um, this was on sale for, I think this was on sale for $6.98. And it, it was normally $18. Okay, so I got him that. So he don't care about me showing his clothing. He wants me to. DJ, excuse me, guys. DJ. DJ. Chloe. I know. Sorry about that, guys. And then JCPenney has, I mean, it had a bunch of these flip-flops on sale. But I am... I am going to show you the ones that I bought my daughters and stuff because it's in the bag. But anyway, their feet are bigger than mine. All, both of their feet are bigger than mine. But anyway, um, they, they had all of these marked down to $388, I think. So we got this pair, which is really cute. Make sure you guys can see this pretty good. That pair, which is really cute. They normally were $10. Then this right here is mine that I'm going to wear when I go out of town, like in the hotel, because I can't stand this, you know, be on their floors. On their carpets but this is really cute and if I polish my nails pink or something it'll match it really great my toenails that is so that's cute those were normally ten dollars and then of course Miss Jade my other daughter 16 year old she had to go all out from higher than ours okay and she had to don't do that and she had to get these right here these are really really cute okay I wish I would have got up here and these were normally $22, but they were not. These were also marked down to $388. $388 or either $398, one of the two. Okay, so I got those. Guys, I keep on getting this film. I mean, this video. And I think that was it that I got at JCPenney's when I went the other day. Let me just take a little of this ice cream real quick, guys. Hold on for one second. Mm mm mm. Mm. The Rocky Roll ice cream is the bomb, okay? I can only eat chocolate comfortably, but Rocky Roll is the bomb, okay? It's good. Now, guys, I'm going to show you what I got from the 99 cent store, okay? Now, some of the stuff is the same stuff that I get every week, okay? But some things that I got from the 99 cent store are actually new. So, let me start off with that, the new stuff. Bam! 99 cent store. Faith protects hope, renews love. I mean, I'm saying this wrong, okay? Faith protects hope, renews love, strengthens. Hold on for one second, guys. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, as I was showing you this from the 99 cent store, and I was telling you what it said, but this was not 99 cents now, okay? It was $1.99. One thing that I have noticed that the dollar, I mean, that 99 cent store is doing now, they are <laughs> changing their prices on their frames because they know good and well those frames they are selling and the new ones they're getting in. You go to the other stores and they're like $10, $20. So now they put a price tag of $4.99 or $5.99 on those frames that, that I that they have there that I already got some but I only paid a dollar ninety nine for them. But they got some really nice frames there now. Okay, and some really nice um pictures and stuff like that. Other little things and they just up the price on it. This right here and like at um Kirkland's would probably be like, I don't know, nine ninety nine maybe or, or maybe even more, fifteen ninety nine. Okay, but it's cute. The only difference at Kirkland is that you probably won't see this on the back. Okay, but I'm not gonna hang this up on my wall. Even if I was, I can take this off well, actually, you know what? They have hooks on here. Okay, I didn't even notice that. You can take this little cheap looking string off, right? And you can actually, I hate when I have to hang up stuff with two nails, but you can actually put a, you know, um, um, picture hooks on the wall, on each side of your wall or whatever, and hang them up on the little hooks right here. You don't even have to use this little cheap thing right here. Okay, so I may just do that. I don't know for sure because I don't like to hang them up like that because they usually be crooked. And I hate measuring stuff. So, guys, I hang up my pictures on measure anything. I just do it by looking at it. And uh, most, all my pictures are straight with exception to the one in the laundry room. And I think this one on my other wall is maybe slightly off just a little. 
But all of the rest of them, I did a really good job, including the little stuff up on the wall right there, the red things, not that, um, you know, this background thing right here, okay? But anyway, yeah, this was $1.99, okay? So I got that. Let's see, 99 cents store. Then I got me some rollers, full body, for full body and curls, but I'm not gonna use it for that. What I am going to do is actually do my hair in the twist that they're supposed to be in, that I be calling myself trying to wear. Those little curls they wear with natural hair, that's what I'm gonna do. I went on YouTube and saw this girl's video, and she showed me step by step how to do it. And I was like, man, if I don't follow directions and do stuff like people tell you to, so my hair can be looking like it should look, you know, and she used rollers after she um, wet her hair or whatever the case is and put some um, milk on it or whatever the case. Not regular milk you drink, but the hair milk that you use for natural hair. She put it on that. She also lengthened, put some lengthen and stuff in her hair because it was natural and all that stuff. And then she um, twisted it up. And then at the end, she didn't twist it all the way to the end. She just twisted it down just a little. And then at the end, she put that milk stuff at the end. And then she wrapped it around like some curlers. Not these type of, uh, another type that I have. And she um, got up underneath her hair dryer for, um, I forgot how long, for 25 minutes. And when she took her hair down, I wish I could show you her, her hair. Because her, her YouTube video is online. I forgot her name. But her hair looked just like... What is the name of that show that we watch on um, Nickelodeon with that girl's hair and them curls that I want? And I was like, her hair looks really cute with all those curls. What show is that? The, the one with the alien type thing they be doing? Um, superhero one? The little black girl. The little short black girl. Oh, from um, Harry Danger. Yeah, Harry Danger. Her hair is cute. That's the way that girl's hair look. And that's the way I want my hair to be curled like that. And so I'm going to try to do it myself before I go to the um, hair salon. Because at the hair salon, they probably gonna charge me hundred dollars to do it. But if I do it at home and follow all the steps, you know, everything you're supposed to do to your hair, it'll come out looking just the same. Because her hair looks good. When I do my hair and don't follow all the steps, it looks okay. I'm just being real. That's why I never be on, on camera because my hair be always looking dry, you know, just dry. And, and I hate to use this word, but I am gonna use it anyway because it'll be just looking nappy, okay? And I really don't want it to look, even though it's natural. I don't want it to look nappy. And her hair did not look nappy, okay? So I need to do it the right way so it can look like it's supposed to look. You don't have to, I don't have to put chemicals in my hair and all that stuff to make it look healthy and, and, and you know, and just manageable and stuff. So that's what I want to do. And plus it wasn't dried all out or anything like that. So I'm going to probably either, I may use these rollers or I may use the other ones. But I'm going to do that hairstyle right. And then I'll show you guys when I do a video. When, when I'm, I'm probably going to practice I was going to practice this week, but I'm probably going to practice, I am probably am going to practice later on this week, and I'm going to try to do it, okay, and then um, if it comes out good, next, I'll show you guys, okay, I'll take a picture, and I'll show you guys, but if it don't come out good, then I'm going to have to go to the petition and get it done, okay, so yeah, I got these rollers, they were $1.49, of course, they weren't 99 cents, okay. And then I got some of these little things right here. No, I, you know what? Did I, I? Yeah, I did get these at the 99 cent store. Okay, yeah. I got these. And what I'm actually going to do with these, these are cups. Okay, for like if you're having a Hawaiian party or whatever the case is. They had a bunch of colors. But what I'm going to actually do with those, I'm going to sit them on my patio on the um, table just for decorations. Okay, just for the summertime. And I'm just going to put some rocks in here. So if the wind blow real hard or whatever here, which it seldom does, like very hard it does it. I'm going to put some rocks in here so it won't, you know, um, fall down or anything. Let me get me some more ice cream. Mm. Sorry about that, guys, but that ice cream is off the chain, okay? But anyway, yeah. So I got two of these, and I'm going to sit these on my patio, on my table. And you know what? Remember I had did my um, apartment haul, and I told you guys I wanted to change my chairs out there well actually this weekend coming up i am because right now they're having all these clearance sales and stuff in these stores and all the summer stuff and spring well summer stuff is marked all the way down half off so i'm going to get me two chairs to put on the patio i, I may not i probably won't get another table i may because i got a table that table is good enough so i'll just probably get the two chairs because they marked them all down at big lots and put them on the patio and take the other chairs up and just put them in the storage. But 
I'm going to put these on there for the rest of the, you know, for the summer and make it look really summery out there. It's already looking summery out there, except for that one plant I got out there that's still fall time. But I'm going to actually change that too, but that's a trip. But anyway, I'm going to put this on the table out there, you know, to make it look really, really cute. Okay. And these were, these right here were 99 cents. Okay. And then I got some clip pins. Okay, I don't know why I actually bought these. I, I think because they, they were just cute, okay? But anyway, when I bought them and after I got them home, I realized that I can use them to attach to my thing right here, my back, this little thing I'm using for my back. Whatever you call it, the back thing, whatever you call it. And so I actually got these clips securing my um, thing right here to hold it up. And this is what these things look like. These are really cute though. They, you know, people use these to hang up pictures in their um, kids' room and stuff. If you wanted to make it look real cute. They had these right here come in different colors too. But I just got the pink. Because pink is another one of my favorite colors. Okay. So yeah. 99 cents for this. Then I got um, a 4th of July flower thing. It's actually a pin thing that you put on your clothes or whatever. But I'm actually going to pin this in my apartment. Just stick it somewhere. You know, just to represent, you know, 4th of July. And that's it. Because I really don't like celebrate the house. Excuse me for one second. I'm, I'm going to pause this and then let this phone ring and then I'll come back. Okay. Now, let me, I'm um, sorry about that. I had to take a quick break because that phone was so loud. Okay, so as I was saying, I just got this. It's a, you know, obviously this is a pin that you put on your clothing or whatever the case is. But I just thought it would be cute to get and just basically pin it, pin it somewhere in my apartment or something and just, you know, just to represent 4th of July. I said I don't really like celebrate this holiday all like that like some people do. But I do like to just put up certain little things just to, you know, know that it, you know, it, it, it exists. So, yeah. So it's really cute. And then I got some of my normal things that I usually get, like the vinyl gloves, latex free, 10 pair. Pretty good gloves you can buy at the 99 cent store. I got two packs of those, but I'm only showing you one. Then I got, now I don't, I didn't get this at the 99 cent store. I got this at Dollar Tree, along with that, so I can't show that. Wrong store. Okay, then of course I got some more marshmallows, the Jet Puff ones. Okay, they're fresh. You know what we're gonna do with these, we're gonna make some s'mores. And then I got some Hershey's. Of course, this is the other pack that I opened and was already eat. Um, there are five in here, 0.45 ounces, okay? Then I got these good graham crackers again, okay? Remember I told you about these guys? I told you these were pretty good to be from the 99 cent store because I had never heard of True Blue, but True Blue, it's slang, guys. Okay, these graham crackers right here taste just as good as the other ones. And they're only a dollar, and there's two in the pack. Not two in the pack, two packs in the box, okay? So there you go. And then I got some um, cookies. Now, I bought these before from the Diana Cent store, so they're pretty good. So I got a pack again. It's the fudge striped shortbread cookies. I like those cookies. Even though I'm not going to be eating any, eating any unless I eat them. I probably won't get a chance to eat any because I usually just do the jump on Fridays and Saturdays and sometimes on Sundays too. Let me not lie. But I actually did it a couple times. I've been bad the last few weeks, okay? Let me just tell the truth. I've been bad. I've been eating all this stuff, trying to gain this five pounds I lost back because I walked so much and so far that I think I was doing too much walking and I lost five pounds. It took me a long time to lose that five pounds though, but you know, I, you know, like being 100, 140 pounds at five feet four. I'm not trying to get to 135, definitely not 130 or anything like that. 145 is great for me, it looks good. So that's where I want to stay. So I'm, you know, I was eating up all, I was eating all this mess just to get back to 145. So now I'm almost, not 145 to 140. So I'm almost back to 140 because I only lost five pounds. So I'm, I'm almost at 140. So it's time for me to stop eating all this mess. So those cookies, I probably won't get a chance to taste because the day is Sunday. Okay. And on Sunday, after Sunday is over, if you don't, if I don't eat any junk, I won't get it to the next Friday. Hmm. Okay. And then I got some more of my earbuds for my kids. 
I picked up like five, four packs of these, okay? But I don't know. They must have already took the other ones. I don't know for sure. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I think that's, is that it? Oh, no. Then I got some more of this paper towels that I normally get. Okay. I know this is not everything I got from 99 cents. It seems like I had more stuff. It, it probably is. Again, these are some good paper towels to use from, the, from that store. Um, it's 150 sheets, two ply, okay? And they last a long time, okay? So if you go to the 99 cent store, you may want to go ahead and pick this up, okay? So I usually get like, I got like three, I think, all together to go along with my regular paper towels that I get. Okay, and then I got some more of this um, LA Awesome, Totally Awesome laundry detergent. Okay, it washes 32 loads, or up to 32 loads. And um, sometimes I get the red one, but I, I, I mainly get this one, I buy this, okay? So that's that. And I'm thinking that's it from, I think that is it from the 99 cent store. So now I'm going to move right along with my DT things, okay? Oh man, DJ. So from, let me pause this one more time, excuse me, okay. It's like I'm doing my own little commercials, but you guys can't tell because, you know, I'm pausing and coming back. But anyway, now I'm with DT Store, and I got some of my traditional stuff, which are these rectangular pans for 99 cents and the circular ones for 99 cents, okay? And I got two packs of the rectangular ones, and I hope they didn't bend them. I'm going to check these pans out because somebody been messing with these, and then, you know, I don't want holes to be in it. Because last time I was cooking, one time I was cooking, and there was a hole in that pan. It was so funny because I was taping it. I was videotaping it. And the boy, when I, it was a trip. Because the stuff leaked all over the place. Okay. I got some, <laughs> I got some more Scotty's Kleenex um, tissues. Guys, I'm laughing because um, I was doing this rap. Um, the one by Trap Queen. And I was acting a nut. A guy was trying to do it like he does. It, was, it sounds so, it was sound tripped out. But it was cute. It was cute. And I'm laughing about that because I'm listening to myself. Okay. So I got two packs of that um, Scotty's tissue as usual. Because, you know, I love Kleenex. I use too much, though. And I was just telling myself the other day, you are using too much Kleenex. That is not good. You're just using a lot of Kleenex. You need to stop. Okay. So I'm going to have to decrease my usage of Kleenex. Okay. Because it's just ridiculous. I just got out of control. And then I got some more of these uh, reusable gloves in medium. I think I got two packs of these. These are not late now. These are not latex free, but I don't use these. Okay. And then I got some more ironclad tall kitchen trash bags. Eight in the box. You like that, don't you? I know you don't. I'm jamming. I'm slaying. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. And then uh, <laughs> these are one of the best brands you can buy at the Dollar Tree because some of them other ones are too thin. Okay. They don't, at my Dollar Trees, they don't sell the healthy any longer, at least the ones that I have, you know, been to, but um, the healthy ones was actually the best ones, but this is, this come right behind the healthies, okay, so if you see this kind, give it a try, it's for 30, no, 13 gallons um, garbage cans, okay. Then, of course, I got some more of this body um, wash, moisturizing gel, the only one I use from DT, this is my, my the girls, okay, they got the, um, what is this creamy? Yeah, they got the creamy one. Don't look like nothing in it, does it? But it is. Boy. And then I got the lavender one. This is the only one I ever buy. Okay? So we both got those. I'm trying to stay out this camera. Then I got some of these um, kitchen bags that I usually buy. I haven't bought any in a long time because I have a bunch, but I got this in a fresh roll scent. 28 bags for the small. Um, trash bags in our bathrooms, okay? Not the trash bags, but you know, the trash cans, okay? It's hard doing a video listening to yourself because I've been listening to me saying stuff. And then I got this um, dish drying mat. 
because they what they do is they um, use up all my paper towels drying uh, um, cups out, you know, when they put it, you know, they lay them on the paper towel to dry. Oh man, I got the earpiece in. Let me take the earpiece out. Something is wrong, y'all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, somebody had, no, what happened? Oh yeah, somebody had called me, right? And I had to break the, um, well, the camera paused itself and went to my, um, I didn't stop saying, um, went to my WhatsApp or whatever the case is. And then, of course, I had to stop the video in the phone room and it was all over. It went downhill. So now I'm resuming. So as I was saying, and sorry about that too, but what I was saying is that I was telling you guys about this dish drying mat. I was telling you that, you know, it's, I like the designs for one thing. I wish they had a rare one. They didn't have a rare one, so I just got the pink one, you know, just to put our um, coffee cups. I don't drink coffee, but you know the coffee mugs for hot chocolate or whatever you want to put in it. I put those on there to dry them. At least they do when they wash dishes. We never use a dishwasher, so but we put our um, cups on here to dry, so that's why I got this. It's the same one like they sell in the regular stores too, just in the regular stores it's usually like $3.88, $4.88 or $5.88 and then the Dollar Tree of course is only $1 and it's still, you know, basically the same one. Thickness and everything is there. Okay? So there you go. Then I got some more Huggy Baby Wipes. I actually bought these for when I travel and I'm just going to keep these for when I get ready to go out of the country to use them. And I think there are 30 in the pack too of that. Then I got some of these cute little collapsible storage containers in blue and in pink to match my girl's room. So let me show you one. Let me show you the, the blue one, okay? If I can open it, right? If I can open it. Let's see. Go ahead and do this. Let's see. Okay. I got some of the other ones. I was, I like when I saw these. I was like, these are cute. These are really cute. Now they can use this in a room, just to put little stuff in. They're pretty small. I didn't look at the size. I was too busy looking at the color. But this will be good for uh, their socks and things like that, underwear or whatever the case is. The ones that won't fit in their draw drawers. So yeah, so I got the pink one and the blue one. So yeah, that'll work out real good. And then, of course, it has that little handle there, and then it has the little insert that you put at the bottom to make it, you know, sturdy. And, of course, it's not the same quality that you may get at uh, other stores. I'm trying to stop saying, um, but it's, it's, it serves the purpose. And the ones that I already have in different sizes and different colors, they, they're, they're holding up pretty good because I got my homeschooling things in some of them, and then I got some art supplies and another one, I think. So this is the other one. The only thing I don't like about them is the smell. That's the only thing I don't like about this one. I can smell that glue or whatever they use or the cloth or whatever, but we're not gonna put this on, so it should be okay. I mean, of course you'd be smelling this stuff, but maybe, you know, maybe I'll put it on the patio or something for a couple of days and let it air out. Or something, but anyways. Of course, I had to um, stop again because the same person called again, left me a message. I had to let him know to call me back because I'm doing a video, or I'll call him back. I mean, so now I got to please have my daughter piece all of these videos together to make one complete video. But now, let me get back to what I was saying. Okay, I was talking about those collapsible, um, you know, these things right here. And I was telling you that the, I think the pink one had a strong smell from the fabric or the glues or whatever they use. But the blue, one, the, the blue one, the blue one was okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I need it. I'm probably gonna sit it outside of the air out or something for a few. But anyway, I got some more of these um, rollers. Well, not some more, but I got some more. I got another pack of rollers, okay? Because I didn't buy these before. It was a different one that I bought. But these are a little different. I got these two, because whatever works best for me is the one that I'm gonna stick with. Okay, so yeah, these are the um, snap, snap cover rollers. There are 10 in this pack. In the other pack that I had from 99 cent store, these were Kinnear. I didn't even um, pay attention to that. So those are pretty good, and it's 10 in that pack too. 
I guess that's why they were selling it for a dollar forty-nine. But these right here are from Dollar Tree, and they're ninety-nine cents. And then I got these hair rollers, these type. Now this type right here is the actual type the girl used at the end of her twist. Okay, but she just used the smaller ones. But I would probably have to. They didn't have the small ones at the store, so I'm probably gonna use a combination of these in the back. And I'll probably put the other ones, the other, the pink ones in the front or something. I don't know yet. Well, I may cut these if I can, or I just may, I'll figure it out or something. I needed the smaller ones too, but I think I can use these. And see, there are six in this pack, okay? And then I got some hair clips because I realized after all these years, instead of using combs, 50,000 combs and stuff, the whole hair back, just get some clips and clip the part of the hair that you're not doing. Okay, it took me all these years to realize this after doing one, two, three, four girls here and to finally realize this, okay? Dodo Bell. Hmm. And there are four in that pack. Okay? And I can even use this for my hair. So that's a good thing. And I actually got two packs of those rollers. I did not even realize I got two. So I got 12. So I'm going to have enough to do my little twist. Because you don't have to put them in real small braids. You know, twist. You can just do like medium ones or whatever the case is. Because once you take the twist out, I forgot what she did after that. I'm going to have to look at her video again. But it's going to be curly all over in those little curl things. And there's another pack of those gloves that I got. I told you I had two. And if I buy any more Kleenex, I'm going to slap myself because I got a lot of boxes of Kleenex. These Scotties. I'm, I think I'm hooked to these because <laughs> I just use these Kleenex. I mean, they're so soft. They're so soft and comfortable. I mean, I don't want to use anything else but that. You know, when I, when I need to wipe my um, eye makeup off or my um, lipstick off my lips or something like that. Or to clean my nose, whatever. But anyway, um, I got some of these Finey Dora or Dory. I'm so used to talking about Dora the Explorer. But anyway, this is Finey Dory. I got some of these Q-tips for my um, girls, my kids' bathroom. And then I got a fish um, soap dispenser thing that it matched just to put in their bathroom because their bathroom is like a bluish color anyway. So there, there are, this is a Q-tip holder and there's 150 cotton swabs in here too. The design is pretty. I got some dishcloth, the ones that I was looking for from the start. I found them at the DT, two, two there's two dishcloths in here, okay? So this is my extra ones because the other one I bought from 99 Cent Store, I'm using those right now, at least one of them. Then I got me a square cake pan. My daughter wanted me to buy this because she said it's, you know, for when she bakes stuff, this is just easier for her to use. And their pans are cheap, but they're, you know, they serve the purpose and they work pretty good. And, and of course, if you burn one or it, still, it starts to warp or something like that or rust, you can just go get another one. I should have bought two. When I go back there, I'll just pick up another one just for extra. Then I got another cookie pan because I use these to support those aluminum pans. These right here, I use them to support these when I put them in the oven to cook or, you know, I just make stuff on here, like cookies and stuff like that, okay? And I always buy replacements because if they rust or burn, I just throw them away. If we, if we can't get them clean, if they burn or something, then we just throw them away. But if we can clean them, of course we clean them, okay? I told you guys this haul was going to be a little long, so, you know, brace yourself. I got some of these patriotic chair bowls. I got two packs of these to go on my chairs outside. Let me show you what they look like in person. Well, not in person, but you know. <laughs> Let me show you a minute. Guys, I sound like a man on this tape, on me on this song right here. Man, my voice is like deep. But anyway, I got this for the chair. And it looks really cute on the chairs. I'm not, I, I didn't want to put them on the inside, so I put them on my outside chairs, on the two out there. I may leave those on there. And then, I mean, how many packs of Kleenex do I have here? I mean, I, I, let me see, I got one, two, three, four, about four packs of Scotties. And then, you know what? I put some up already, and I used the pack. So I, I think I bought at least six of those. You know, I'm hooked to that. I gotta stop buying all that Kleenex. And then I got my traditional Tylenol. I try not to use these that much, but I like to keep a stock of them, you know, handy. There are six tablets in the um, box, extra strength. And then I got some of these um, power clips. I got these big ones because I think they're going to be more sturdier than the other little animal ones. So 
So I should have bought two packs of these, but I just bought one pack because, you know, like I said, the other ones be breaking and stuff. These right here seem like they're much more, um, let me see, durable. Let me look at one. Yeah, these look like they are way more durable than the other ones. So I'm probably going to get some more of these. So yeah, I can't wait to use those. And they're cute too, all those different colors. Then I got me some more of these um, makeup removal, I mean remover uh, facial wipes. There are 40 in here. I like this kind. Some people don't like this one, but I do. Because one thing about it, I haven't had no um, allergic reaction or anything to this. And it takes, I mean, now uh, it don't take the, um, the eye makeup off all easy or anything like that. But, you know, it serves a purpose. You know, I just, I just, you know, keep on wiping for a few times and then it comes off. I usually use about one or two. Okay. Now, if you got a full face of makeup, I don't know, maybe you want to use a different kind. I don't know. But I only wear the, um, you know, like I told you before, sometimes I put a concealer on and then I just wear eye makeup. And I, um, just eye makeup. And then sometimes lip gloss and lipstick. The kinds that I can wear because I'm allergic to certain makeups. Okay. So I use like natural um, eye mascara. And even when I put the eyeshadow on my eyes, it makes my eyes itch. I mean, I can use the other eyeshadow that I put on the other day, but I did feel a little itching, so I'm just gonna get me some natural eyeshadow and use it, and get me some natural lipstick, which costs a lot, but I'm gonna get it. I got to use natural everything now. And, but I did buy this um, lip treatment, petroleum jelly uh, lip stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna use this, but I may get this to my daughter. So I'm, I'm kind of scared to put stuff on my lips. Besides the, vas the pure vas little Vaseline that I put on, and the other little lipstick I wear. Because the allergic reaction I had, I just didn't like it. So I don't know if I'm using that. I'm gonna get this to my girls. It looked like it's safe to use. They don't have any ingredients in it, just Vaseline, just petroleum jelly is in it, and um, that red dye stuff. I don't think I'm allergic to that. But I'm, I'm like almost scared to put it on my um, lips. That's a shame, isn't it? I can't even use regular hair dye or even temporary hair dye. That's why I bought those little color um, like lipstick stick um, hair dyes. I'm not allergic to that. So I can use that, but it's so annoying because you always have to put that in your hair. And then you have to, I, I don't wash it out like that because you'll be washing hair, I'll be washing my hair every day. But you know, it don't, it rubs, it don't come off all easily, but you can't like, if you put your hand through your hair, obviously you can see some black dye. But fortunately, I don't have to use it all over just in a certain place, like at the roots. And that's it, in the front, and that's it. And then I got my daughter some, um, Flavor lip gloss. It says it's a, it has that, that paraben, I think that's how you pronounce that, it's paraben free. But it has a lot of other uh, ingredients. Let me stop. But anyway, yeah, this is what she got for herself by Color Mix. Man, if you have to look at everything that this stuff have in it, I, I don't think you would use anything. Because I started looking up stuff. I had two of these. And then when you look up stuff, you'd be like, uh-uh, I shouldn't be letting them use this or I shouldn't be using that. So, hmm. I just can't use that much of it. And then I got some more of these cotton rounds, of course. There's 80 in here. Oh. And then I got some of this um, Wet n Wild Fergie fingernail polish. Lord, you know what? I do not need any more fingernail polish. But I thought this was cute. The violet one is really cute. And the other one is too, but I just thought it was cute. And I, and I actually like the bottle, so I said... I'll get it, but I'll probably end up giving this to my daughters. I may use this one on one nail, and I'll probably end up giving this to, to them and let them use it, because I already got this color, and I got this color in Wet n Wild, and then they had the gel look one at Forever 21, so I may go back and get that, But so I'll probably end up giving this to them. But yeah, two bottles of um, nail polish is a good price for $1. I wonder why they, why they, it must have, I mean, when, I wonder, when they had it in the regular stores, uh, it probably wasn't selling that much, or maybe they had an overstock, that's why the Dollar Tree has it, I don't know. So that's that, and that's that. Then, I, of course, I got the traditional antiseptic mouth rings that I usually get, I got two of these, as you can see it right there, okay? This is the only one besides the, sometimes I use that Lander one, but really, this is the only one I use, okay? It's the best one, it works like Listerine. Let's see. Let's see. And I think I got one more bag from Dollar Tree and I'll be finished, I think. And that'll be it. And I bet you guys are like, wow, she got a lot of stuff. 
Okay. The first thing is that I got another one of these bags. These make good beach bags, okay? Or if you go to the pool. So that's what I'm going to use the lines for. Not this one, but the black one I got. I'm going to use that one for that one. But I'm probably going to keep this one in case the black one break. And then I can use this one. But yeah, they're pretty sturdy too. I can't believe it. Okay? Because we carry this home in the bag, and I, you know, in the car. Then I got a dustpan for my patio. Pretty, pretty good dustpan. Not really all that heavy, but it's, no, it serves the purpose. Okay. And then I got some of these hangers. And there are eight here, the red ones, because I needed some more hangers for my closet. My colors in there are red, black, and gray, I believe, okay? Some people don't like these hangers right here, but I don't care. I mean, I don't want the, the wire ones, okay? Then I got my traditional deep cleaning pads, three packs for the Swifter. These work pretty good for my Swifter. They don't come off. They clean the floor and everything. Now, I have to remember to get the actual Swifter stuff. I forgot to get it again. And so now I'm going to mop on the floor of my um, spick and stand. But, you know, fortunately I can use it on these floors. But yeah, I'm going to get my, my Swifter stuff this, um, this coming up weekend. I got another one of these Click and Flames. These work pretty good. They sell them at the regular store for like five and ten dollars. So why would I spend five or ten dollars on something I can get at Dollar Tree for a dollar? Is that not stupid or what? Because it lasts the same, and you're only using it to like candles or uh, or something like that, you know. And it works. That I have never had any problem with these. So why pay nine dollars or four dollars more? See, that's why rich people stay rich and poor people stay poor because some people. And middle income people stay middle income because some people be buying this high price stuff, the same exact stuff. They just don't want to go to Dollar Tree or 99 cent store because they think they're just don't shop there, but yet they're going to like Aberson or somewhere like that and spend, you know, way a ridiculous amount for the same thing. To me, that's just plain silly, silliness. I mean, put the extra money in your uh, pocket or in your um, savings. Okay, or buy something else that you may need that you can't get at the 99 cent store or the Dollar Tree. It's just crazy to me. I don't know why people do that, but you know, that's why that's what separates rich from poor and rich from middle class and so on. Okay. And then I got some of these healthy storage bags, six in a um, box. Again, they sell these at the regular store too. I mean, you may get a bigger quantity, I don't know, because I don't buy these at the regular store, but I do see them there. And um, I don't use these for storing no type of food or anything. I use these for storing other stuff, like stuff that I put in my bag, like extra papers or something, or um, just whatever I want to. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I want to. Baby wipes, whatever I want to, I store it in here. Okay? And these make good get bags for that. I even, um, I told you before, I even um, rinse off my meats in these. Okay? Instead of using a regular bowl, and I definitely am not going to place my meat in no sink, even if I do wash it. And so, so I, I'll usually rinse these out and put it in there, you know, and rinse them off. And they just throw these bags away. Okay? And then I know some people are going to say that's not good for the environment, but a lot of things is not good for the environment, okay? Talking is not good for the environment, but people do. I'm just, cook, I'm just kidding. Taking up too much oxygen? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but anyway, I got some more dial soap. Two boxes, okay? For a dollar. It's the antibacterial one. Okay. Then I got some more of these washable school glue by Elmer's. I got some of these for, you know, when we started back homeschooling. I told you guys I was going to buy a bunch of these because once they start selling them, you're not going to be able to find them there and you're going to go to the regular store and you're going to pay, I don't know how much these cost at the regular store, six, seven dollars? I don't know. But I'm not going to pay it if I don't have to. And, and this is actually better for, you know, at least for my son because he don't make a mess. Okay. Then I got these ice drops, breath strips, and they sell these or either similar ones in a regular store. Of course, it's cheaper to get them at Dollar Tree. Okay, there are 24 in here, and they do they do work because I use them all the time. I'm not saying that I got funky breath, but you know how you be out and you don't drink any water or anything, and your mouth get dry. You don't want to be talking to people. You know, you need to put something in your mouth. Nobody wants to smell your breath, whether it's funky or it's stale tasting. You do not want to smell nobody's breath. At least I don't. And I don't want to smell mine either, so therefore I usually keep these, okay? So there you go. And then I got some big 
Silky Touch razors. These are the only ones I use at Dollar Tree because I have never been cut with these or anything. Matter of fact, I have never been cut anyway, but I have never got cut with these razors at all, okay? They're pretty good. I mean, of course, there's only two. You probably can go to Walmart and get a better deal with the same razors, but, you know, I'm not going to Walmart, okay? Um, so, you know, and I wasn't at Walmart at that particular time, so I picked these up, and I don't have to shave all the time either, so I'm not a hairy person, so I only shave once a month or once every two months. It just depends underneath my arms, and that's it. No, no, no bunch of hair on my legs or anything like that, so I don't really have to use a wax or anything like that, okay? Then, uh, let's see. Oh, I got some of these Assured Ibuprofen um, tablets for my daughter. Because somebody said, um, another haul I was watching said these work pretty good. So I was like, let me go ahead and give it a try. Because if you go to the regular store and get these, you're going to pay way more. And if it has the same ingredients, which it does, it does the same, you know, thing, then what's the point of spending so much money on this medicine? And this is the brand that I do trust because I have been, I've been using Assured for the longest. And I haven't had any problems, or and I, I don't even think I ever seen any recall or anything on the Sure brand. I mean, I wouldn't be buying some of these other brand of medicines that they serve there, but I think, um, I mean, that they sell there, but I think Assured is pretty good, okay? Because I use Assured everything, as you see the mouthwash, the bath gel, everything. I stayed with them. Well, the bath gel is from Right Rain, but the mouthwash, um, of course, this, and some more stuff is the Assured brand, okay? A trusted brand to use at the Dollar Tree. Damn, I need to be working for them. Okay, let's see. You know what, guys? I think that's it. I think I'm done with my haul. I don't know how long my video is because... Oh, no, I'm not. I knew it. I knew it. I got a few more things I want to show you real quick. Now, you know, this is ridiculous. Another box of Kleenex, okay? But don't think I bought all this stuff on the same day because I didn't, okay? Different times I went to Dollar Tree. Because like I, like I told you, I started doing videos every two weeks now. So therefore, some of this stuff is for one week and then, you know, the other stuff is for another week. Okay, I got some socks, okay, from Dollar Tree. They, you know, one thing I can say about Dollar Tree, these socks are not too bad, okay? They're not too bad. They serve the purpose. And we don't want them all thick anyway and stuff. So, I mean, why spend $10 on some socks that you're just going to walk around in? either barefooted at home with them on like my kids do or just with your tennis shoes or something like that. So I got them a pair piece, which is there are three in each one. I'm gonna pre wash these first though. Because they always have this the smell, man. I can't stand the smell of these clothing in these stores. Not not just Dollar Tree, all of them. I have to wash all of my stuff because my skin will burn if I put this stuff on. One time I bought some um, pants from a, a real nice um, clothing store and tried them on at home and you know it started burning my skin I just took them back to the store I didn't even try to wash those I just took them back to the store and returned them so it just don't matter where you get it from it's just the fabrics they use and the um, and the stuff they use on the um, clothing and socks and stuff like that that you know that can um, you know burn your skin or you can be allergic to. So therefore, that's why, I guess that's why they take you, and plus people try all clothing in the store. So I guess that's why they tell you to wash the stuff before you use it. I used to, didn't wash anything, I just put it on, but now I started washing everything. And these are my socks right here that I got. And so yeah, they serve the purpose for me too. Now sometimes they sell thicker ones because I have thicker socks from um, Dollar Tree in the 99 cent store. And you know what, I bought them like when I first moved to, um, I'm about to say Texas, when I first moved to California and I actually got on, still wear them. And so they last a long time. I'm gonna show you guys, these gray socks here. I had these socks for a long time and I got these from the 99 cent store and stuff. And, and I washed them so many times and stuff and I wear them around the house and stuff too. And I wear them in my tennis shoes, in my athletic shoes. And, and they, no holes or nothing in these socks and everything and of course I always buy some more but these you can tell these I, I had these for a while so some of their stuff at Dollar Tree and at 99 cent store are actually pretty good and then you have to look at the name tab because sometimes they have regular stuff there and I guess they get it because it may be um, slightly irregular or something else may be wrong with it like that something that you really wouldn't notice but of course if they have a defect in their clothing they're going to you know send it to wherever they send it they're not going to use it okay so, yeah, so sometimes Dollar Tree gets stuff like that. Just like 99 Cent Store. I don't know how they get all those picture frames. I don't know if they buy those picture frames 
and then just sell them themselves. I don't know how they do that, but they be having some really nice picture frames. If you ever took a look at one of my, um, you know, one of my apartment tour videos, you will see. I think I tell you, which I told you, I think I told you what frames I got from the 99 cent store. Um, Jay, I mean, Jay, Chloe, Chloe, come here, come, come over here, go around that way. Hand me this frame over here. I want to show them this frame. And just in case people haven't seen the one that's on the floor right there, the one right there, the frame. God. Okay, yeah, like, sorry about that, guys. Like this frame right here, this picture, you, this picture right here came from the 99 cent store, okay? And, um, they have regular frames even better than this now, okay? Even better than this, okay? Because this is really not wood, but it looks like wood. But they got some wood frames, okay? Solid wood frames, but they're not selling it for 99 cents. This wasn't even 99 cents. See, this was $1.99. But now they put the price up to $4.99 and $5.99. And, you know, they marked it up, but they still have it cheaper than you would buy. You would pay for it at a regular store, like, you know, Walmart, or, or definitely not in Kirkland's, or somewhere like that, or Home Goods. Okay, it's gonna definitely be more. Or Tuesday morning, or something like that, it's gonna definitely be more. But they got some really nice frames there. I mean, the quality, how it looks, is heavy and everything. And they're they're cheap. It's four ninety nine and five ninety nine. If I was just like, if I had just got an apartment or a house or something, and I wanted some really nice frames, that's um that looks expensive. I would actually get some of those and put them, put some nice pictures in it and hang it up in my house. And nobody, would, no one would ever be able to tell. Because like I said, a bunch of my frames that I got on my wall and pictures, they came from the 99 cent store and people don't even, they don't even look like it. And then you go to Kirkland, you see the same pictures. Okay? You see the same pictures, you just pay more. And then the back of this one, that's the only difference. Some frames that are more expensive are not going to have this. But who's going to be looking at the back of your frames except you? Nobody's going to go pull your frames down and look to see if they're cheap or not, okay? But that's the difference, okay? Because regular frames, they cost a lot, won't have this mess on it, and it won't have this, okay? But no one would see that except you, okay? It's just like when you buy clothing. You can go to one store, you can see some $100 jeans, right? And they're cute and everything, and they may last long, because sometimes the price don't matter in how long they last, okay? Believe that. And then you go to another store that sells cheaper jeans, the same jeans, and they last long too. And you put them on, nobody know where those, what kind of jeans they are, unless you, you know, broadcast it by showing your tag or you show people, then they'll know. But in the grown adult world, we don't go around showing our tags. Most people don't. You know what I'm saying? Kids may do it, teenagers may do it, even younger adults. But most grown people don't go around showing their tags and stuff. You know, like they never had any clothing before. At least I don't. If it shows, it shows. If it don't, it don't. But um, if you don't, just say if you want to pretend like to your, you just want people to think that those pants are the original ones because they look the same, you just wear a shirt that covers that. A nice little shirt or whatever case that don't show it. And nobody would never know the same, the difference. And that's what I've been trying to teach my girls because they, especially my 16-year-old, um, she'll go to... You know, she wants, like, really expensive clothing, okay? And I tell her sometimes, you can go find cheaper things that look exactly the same and just get a different type, you know, get a real nice shirt that covers that part so no one can see that tag or whatever the case is. And they would never know. Just don't go around telling people your, what kind of clothes you're going on like you're not used to it. Because, you know, notice that rich people don't do that. Some do, but some don't, <laughs> okay? And then you can also pair that up with some expensive shoes, I mean, shoes, or maybe some nice little jewelry. You can always mix in cheap with non-cheap. You understand what I'm saying? To make it look like it costs more and stuff. So that's what I basically do. It's like cheap jewelry. Like, remember I showed you guys this ring right here, right, that I got. This little cheap thing is cheap. But then you know what I'll do? I'll wear this ring with some real jewelry. You understand what I'm saying? And then people won't even, you know, pay attention to this. They, just, they just assume that this right here costs more than what it really does. And that's how you have to do clothing. And the same thing in your house when you decorate. You know, you do the same thing. You don't put a bunch of cheap stuff up on your walls or stuff that's cheap that look really cheap. You understand what I'm saying? You put stuff, you can mix in cheap with expensive, but make sure that cheap stuff you're buying don't look cheap, okay, and don't look tacky. You understand what I'm saying? You don't do that. You mix that stuff up, and you make sure the cheap stuff you buy looks just like the regular stuff. 
that's why a lot of times when I buy stuff from 99 cent store, I go to another store and see it. And then if I, I see the same, I find it. I find it in another store that costs more. So therefore, nobody don't know where it came. They don't know that I got it from the 99 cent store. So that's what I usually do. Now, some things that I buy, you, can, you, you just know it came from Dollar Tree, but you're not sure. Okay? Like, for example, even though they sell these at other stores, this came from Dollar Tree. Okay, but you really can't tell it came from Dollar Tree because you know what? It's not, it's not, it's not light. It's not cheap looking or anything. It's just a glass. Um, I don't know what you call this mess. A glass vase or something. I don't know. But they sell these at um, Ross. They sell them at um, TJ Maxx and things like that. But they cost a little bit more. Why would I go pay ten dollars or fifteen or twenty dollars for this when I can get it for? Not a dollar ninety nine, whatever I paid for, one ninety nine or even ninety nine cents. Okay, and then I can get more, which I did. I got more of them. The same thing when I go to Target, which is Target, of course. I went to Target and I bought those geranium. I think it's geranium things, right? Um, from the store. But let me tell you something. I wasn't gonna pay the regular price for those at the time because they had them, you know, up in price and everything. So I waited until they went on sale. Now, I did not get the exact one that I wanted to get, but I still got a nice one. And so I end up getting the one. Let me see that thing over there that I got. No, this one over here, the geranium that I got over here. So I end up getting this one. It's right there on the book, in the bookshelf, that. So I end up waiting to this little thing right here went on sale, <laughs> and I got this. I didn't want to spend even the sale price on the big one because it was ridiculous. So I ended up getting this one right here. And I bought this like last last year when I was in my house, I got this one and stuff. And then I wanted, they had some more out there and I wanted one, but I just didn't want to pay for it. So hit me that geranium over there that I made. The one on the table, right there. So um, they had some similar, they had some similar to this at Target or another store I went into. I need to clean this. Um, and I was like, you know, I can make this my day going stuff. So you know what I did? I went to Dollar Tree and I got the little rocks that you put in there. I got the little plant and a little ladybug and a little butterfly. I wish you could see a side of it. I don't wanna see. And I put this together myself. And you honestly, it, it looks good enough. It looks good enough. Why would I pay $30 for this when I can make it myself? So that's the type of things I do when I decorate my home or my apartment or whatever I decorate, okay? If I was actually an interior decorator, which I wouldn't mind doing that, you know, using other people's money, I can hook their place up, especially if their budget is really good. If they're not, you know, they, they, they you know, make some money and they really want something really looking good, I can hook it up for them. But anyway, guys, I can talk you guys to death, and I think my video is blanking, blinking because it's getting ready to end itself. So I'm getting ready to end this video, guys. I just want to say thank you for watching my haul. Thumbs up, thumbs up. This video, if you like it, sorry about my nails. Sorry about the um, 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 and all the interruptions. Um, I enjoyed doing this haul, showing you guys everything. I had fun. It was really exciting. I like it. But like I said, sorry for any bloopers or anything. And you can follow me on social media at... Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, what's the other, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, I think that's it, okay, at Sexy Ass Shay, on all the rest, and on Facebook, Denise Slane, okay, and all that information is in my bio somewhere on my page, okay, so you can, you'll see it, and also you can go check out our book, The Baby Mama Chronicles, on Amazon.com or either CreateSpace.com or you can go to the Baby Mama's um, Chronicles Facebook page, even though we haven't, we need to update it. But yeah, it's still there though. It's still there, okay? And we're still selling that book and everything. But anyway, um, thanks to all my newest subscribers again. I'm going to think of a cute little name for that too. And thanks to all my old ones. And also, uh, thank you for viewing my video as well. Guys, I'll see you in two weeks. I probably won't make another long video like this. But I'll see you in two weeks, guys. Have a great week ahead. Have a great weekend. I'll see you in two weeks on that Saturday or either Sunday. I'm out. I'm out. And thanks for listening to my background music. All those songs you heard were me singing them, okay? <laughs> or smooth. <laughs> so don't laugh too hard, okay? All right, guys.
I'm out. I'm out. And thank you for tuning in to Chase Tube. I'm out. Be Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Okay. So don't get mad. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. 17, 17, 38. Yay. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello, see your pretty ass soon as you can do the dodge. Wanted you, got a step off the road. Married to the money, introduced her to my stove. Showed her how to look and not to rick it up low. Trap queen. My trap queen. My trap queen.